Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager, and we have uh, the first part of the Man United game. Uh, it is the start of the month, we are now into November, and uh, we have our important dates here. Pick or choose wherever you want your fancy, really. Got England game there, the mini derby, uh, and all that. Um, the training report, um, Babacat, oh, that's not really that much of a difference, but um, let's see, uh, Andre BK won Player of the Month, I wouldn't really show why he was Player of the Month in the League Cup, bear in mind, but never mind. Um, James McFadden and Mark Noble came second and third. Uh, oops, a Daisy, Danny Wilson, um, scooping Young Player of the Month, with Roswell coming in second, and uh, Babacat once again coming third. I think he came third last time as well. Not Scott. Yeah, Danny Wilson, three appearances as well. <laughs> but he did do well, though, he did do very well. And uh, goal of the month was from Miliash uh, for Wolves against Aston Villa. Well, that must have been sweet for them. Uh, I came second in uh, October, boss um, manager of the month this time, Harry Redknapp. I think mainly because of that Arsenal draw, I think is what it was. And uh, Gerard de Bruyne again coming in second in the um, uh, Young Player of the Month in a Championship. Now, you may have just seen in the top corner there, searching for Sammy Hippier. He was... Um, i would looking for him, and believe it or not, I'll, sh I'll show you, he's still playing at the age of 39 for Bayer Leverkusen. Uh, wow, <laughs> you know, that's absolutely un unbelievable. Uh, anyway, so I'm going to fast forward now, pick my team. Now, I don't, I'll f actually, let me just check, when is the League Cup uh, draw for the fifth round? Because it was down here. Um, Quarter-final draw, which is tomorrow, yeah. So I'm going to fast forward to that, uh, because obviously this is just going to be a load of waffle. <laughs> Sir Alex Vex. <laughs> Oh, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go fast forward to that draw, so uh, I'll see you in a moment. And welcome back. So, here we go. League Cup Quarter Final draws. So there's eight teams remaining. Uh, almost all of them from the Premier League, barring Nottingham Forest and West Brom, who, of course, got relegated last season. Um, so, we still have the big four in there. Chelsea, Arsenal, Liverpool and United. Uh, obviously, I don't whether, obviously. I think the big four, in the context of this draw, shall we just keep it at that? Tottenham also in there, so... Uh, let's do the draw then. So first out, ah, we're first out. Very good. So wh who are we going to play? I think ideally we'd like to play West Brom, Forest, or Sunderland. But hey, it's another big game that I'm sure you guys will enjoy if we don't. So fingers crossed. Let's see who we get. And it's going to be Manchester United, wouldn't you know it? Just as we're about to play them. Oh dear. Well, wouldn't you know it? Oh, that means then there's going to be a clash. There's going to be. There has to be a clash, surely. Arsenal will play Chelsea. That was always going to happen. And Tottenham will play the uh, the, um, the Mackens. So uh, Liverpool United and Arsenal Chelsea in the League Cup quarter final. How how weird is that? So we're um, no, we're not going to be playing them on Boxing Day. <laughs> we'll be moved, I imagine. Uh, well, at least it's around field. And uh, of course, last time we played them in the League Cup was in 2003 when we won. So we shall fast forward this now. The, the fixtures, and I shall uh, go ahead and pick the team. Obviously, once again, I hate, as I say, I don't really like to show me picking the team because it is just me murmuring, saying, oh, No, nah, I think I'll have Babacar. No, I'll have Carol. No, nah, I don't have Carol. You know, just, as I say, it is just me doing that. So, um, I will see you in a sec then. Join me in a moment. And welcome back, guys. Here we go, then. Liverpool versus Manchester United from Old Trafford. Now, if you look to the Man United team very quickly, there is one big exception. Redwin van der Sar. Uh, he has finally retired. They have another goalkeeper called Asenjo, not David De Gea. They do have a Spanish goalkeeper, though. Um, well, I assume it's probably similar. Uh, rate of just or value that just under 5 million, so that's not bad. Not David De Gea, but, yeah. And they also have Vuitton, oh, uh, Vuittonen, of... Vatone, I can never pronounce his name properly. Anyway, the Belgian fella, Jan Vatongen. The fuck you pronounce his name? He also have that other guy we talked about before, Shudzak, I think his name is, and Macon. Who they signed for 22 million. 31 years old, 20 million. That's silly. Look how much he's on as well. Good God! Do you notice? Look at that. I get that. Goodness me. Um, Liverpool team then. Uh, Glenn Johnson comes in for Nigga Manua. I felt I played Johnson for a change. Wilson and Agger, Taiwo, Gerard Babacar, Cout Hazard, Morales. Same t uh, team, really. Whew, let's do it then. Let's do it. They also have Phil Jagielka. 
and um, Chicharito is on the bench. Mm. And let's wish the players luck. So, big game then. Here we go from Old Trafford. Now, um, we always have good games at Old Trafford, and Darren Fletcher has been injured already. Oh, God. Um, I mean, the classic games we've had here. I mean, the 4-3 last season, the 3-2, which won us the league in Season 1. Gerrard's in already. It's 1-0 at Old Trafford. Steven Gerrard finding the net inside eight and a half minutes. And we take the lead. Well, what if that Darren Fletcher injury rocked United? Well, I don't think it had really, but <laughs> I like to think it did. And Steven Gerrard, well, he certainly hasn't scored as many goals as he did last season. I think at this point he had like 10 goals. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's only like his third goal. Kaut persistent against Berbatov. Gerrard just misses. Vidic just missing the challenge totally. Gerrard under the goalkeeper, and it's 1-0. Well, good start for us, but uh, United coming back straight away. Uh, that to think with this highlight, unless we can rob possession back straight away. Hurt Scouts is robbing Manx. Uh, um, Berbatov, though, yeah, it's going to be. Oh, it's a terrible effort from Berbatov. It was a United highlight, but not a very good one. And we take the lead, so it is theoretically in the league. It is one apiece at this fixture. Obviously, United winning last season. Uh, we winning. Uh, sorry, we won last season. Uh, sorry, the season before that, 3 2, because that cause infamous Joe Cole goal where I blew my top. Uh, Berbatov again, poor efforts from him. The problem with the player like Berbatov is he, you know, a bit like, uh, he's like the Balotelli Babble. Uh, he's another player to add to that list of Balotelli and Babble, I should say. Um, you know, he's very lethargic at times, sometimes seems like he doesn't want to play, but can spark up that moment of genius, you know. Or can just and just it just drives you nuts, you know. I mean, for all the players you can add to that, would be you know, Emil Heskey was one. I know you might be thinking, what the fuck, Emil Heskey? You can't compare Emil Heskey to Dimitar Berbatov. I, I know, I know you can't. But look at this play for Man United, though. This is good play. Hold on, I'll get back to Heskey in a moment. So you, you can wait. <laughs> oh, and that's a good clearance from Aga, but still the pressure coming from United. It's Berbatov again. Reina, very good play, Rooney. Oh, you can imagine Rooney's angry face there. You can imagine him, gorilla like, shouting at the ref. He wants a banana, I think. Um, look, <laughs> Rooney's still going on. They've got him absolutely down to a T. <laughs> he, you know, most players had, had shouted at the ref, and that'd be it. But no, Rooney shouts at the ref. Thirty seconds later, he's still arguing with the ref. Oh God. Um. But no, comparing Heskey to Berbatov, I know that's a really crap uh, way of doing it. But um, yeah, he's um, he, what he do? He'd frustrate you so much, but he would score goals in his in his prime. I'm obviously I'm referring to not nowadays, God. But uh, anyway, here's Torres though. Can't oh, good save by Sanjo. I thought just for a moment then Torres. It's just inevitable when he's bearing down on goal like that. Poor corner from Gerrard. And Taiwo against Rooney there. It's a good tussle that. I think there was an injury, so there might be a little bit extra. Because we had, because we did get screwed over by Fergie time <laughs> in the um, in the previous game. But Reina's equivalent to Berbatov there, good save. And look at that, nearly six minutes out of time in the first half. State of that. Encourage the team, they're doing well. Babacar cannot get in the game though. Five point eight rating, oof, low for him. He's been in great touch as well this season, but you know we can't can't get to him, can't get, uh, can't find the ball to him so far. Oh, good stuff from Hazard. He's played in Babacar. Well, I think that's when I'm in his form in this game. It was a bit off. But, you know, still piling the pressure on here. So it's a good start to the second half. Uh, don't sell yourself. Oh, I saw that one coming a mile away. Anderson sold it to Johnson there. But I get a great tackle on Rooney. Well, this is going to be an action pack first half. You just know it. I think we should really be moving to counter. Uh, I, I think I've, I've sussed it now. Every time I move my mouse... The frame rate drops. I don't know why, but it's, the computer probably can't handle it. <laughs> it's terrible. The computer can't handle the movements of a mouse. But look at Torres go here against Ferdinand. He's gone up against Ferdinand. He slid in Babacar and Macon. What a tackle that was. If that was anyone else, you'd have to think Babacar had an easy slot there. But no. God, this is, uh, this is getting tense. And it's still United on the offensive, and I think they are going to be on the defense on the offensive for quite some time. 
we really need power efforts. Still United, still pressing. Morales maybe take a shot, and that's very close. God, I thought it's opened up. There was a gap for Morales there. I was thinking, hit it, hit it as hard as you can, and he certainly did that. Torres, Mike on. He's been in ma in immaculate form. Mike on. He's done very, very well. He's had the, he's had the beating of everyone who's come up against so far. Rooney with another poor effort. Rooney not so much like Berbatov in a way. He will have efforts, but the majority of them will actually go in. But he does more for the team as well. He's better. He's obviously a lot quicker. He's you know, he's more useful. Okay, now he go. There is Rooney, and it is an equaliser for United. And it was coming. I don't think we could have sat like that as we as we uh, as we have done. Babacar just can't get into the game. Am I? I'm just gonna have to take him off. He just cannot get into this game. And ugh. problem with with the Maz doing this as well. It goes all really sluggish and horrible. Yeah, look at that. He's on a yellow card. His conditions barely moved. Uh, Balotelli it is then. Rooney cut out a pass apparently. I don't even know what's happened there anyway. So uh, Gerard and Rooney, the goal scorers. Who says English football's dead? So, oh God, please tell me I knew was on the bench, thank God. So it's a straight swap from Nades I knew her. Uh, to be honest, I was, I was, it was really was 50-50 you'd start there, Johnson or Inouye, and I'm thankful it was Johnson now since he's injured, to be honest. But you can never really go attacking or control against United They're real, at Old Trafford, I'd never recommend it. Unless you obviously are, you are United. And Reyna makes a good save, well, they are pushing now, they are really pushing it for the win here, Manchester United. Good stop again from Age gets in the way, Torres cannot get into the game himself. To make another sub. Um, Hazard, I think Kalu is going to come on. Ah, Hazard, come on, grab Hazard, for God's sake. Um, I'm not going to put Valboin on. I might put Carroll on at the end because he did score all trap in that 4 3 game. Uh, dominance from United, they've had, they've had almost just twice as many shots. Almost. But they are still 1 1, and that's what matters. Oh, and Wilson, he. God, I, I don't know if he got in the way of. Um, Rainer there, but apparently saved the goal, so I don't know. But look at this, then look at the look at the tension. Don't think you can see it, but oh, Gerard, he's in space. Oh, oh, what a chance! Senju makes it. Well, I don't know if it was a good save or just a poor effort. But I think, well, forget the attacking. We're gonna put, we're gonna, we're gonna take that count off for a more defensive. Oh fuck! I'll put Valboy in. Oh, can't make any more subs. <laughs> So I just lose count of how many subs I've, I've had. So, well, if it's going to be a winner, it's going to be another Fergie time winner. Could be for us this time. No else could be. It could be for anyone. It's been that close. It's not close, really. United have had better play. But look at this from Rooney. Oh, ho, ho. well, he scored the winner last time. He nearly scored the winner again. <sighs> um, I'm going to keep it standard because when we went to counter, we conceded, and it looks like oh, there is one. It's done. It's doing it again. There is one final highlight. Could it be for us this time? It's Gerard. It's going to be Morelles. It's a poor effort from Morelles, and that's gone over. And that is full time. And it's a consecutive away one-one. So on is even this time. No winner at Old Trafford. And well, it was disappointing. But considering how well United were pressing, and so I'll say pleased with that. You know, I, don't, I can't imagine too many Liverpool fans will ever be disappointed with a 1-1 draw at Old Trafford. Obviously, of course, you'd like to win, and of course, the fans are going to be disappointed because the glory hunting pricks. But uh, and don't say that you're not. Yeah, look, believes the fans. I don't. The thing is, it's quite unjustified for them to say that when there is no reason. Usually, if there's a reason given, then it's like okay, yeah, fair enough. But when there's not a reason given, that's what really pisses me off. They're not. So basically, they're not really that disappointed because. The not there was no, they haven't given a reason. If it's like disappointed with the amount of chances they had, disappointed with conceding a late equaliser, etc., etc. But there's no reason why they're upset. That's just that's just like a kid sulk, 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 uh, sulking in the corner saying, "Billy, why are you upset? I just damn, I just I'm sitting in the corner. I don't like it. You know, just it's all that's all they're doing. They're just sulking. But we hold United to a draw, and I'm pretty happy with that." Two very difficult games out the way, and well, pretty this way, we're still unbeaten. And uh, let's see, oh, 
God's sake, shut up about the penalty. You're impressed with Babaka, I'm very, you know, he's okay with shit today, but and Senjo. I thought there we go, and again, we're playing well we've got to play United again, it is all Trafford. For well I didn't think he was even that good, to be honest. I mean he gave a good few good save. I'd want to give it to Rooney. <laughs> or Gerard, you know. But whatever, that's the game. It's stupid. Anyhow, the Della Alpi. Remember in that way back that Juventus video, the first one where I said, I've forgotten what they're called, they've been, they've been gone that long, I've forgotten what the stadium's called, well it's called the Della Alpi, and I'm sure people have said that, I said, I'm sure um, people in the comments did say, or will say, um, oh yeah, the uh, the, uh, the stadium is called um, the, 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 the uh, Della Alpi, but let's have a look at the league, I want to see what that's done for the league, so they play 10, we are 8 points ahead of United, they're not out of it at all, but Bolton Wanderers, Oh, still second. What's that about? I don't know who they got. I mean, they've got. <laughs> okay, yeah, Gary Cahill's good. Yes, Galinan's obviously good. Carl Norton's alright. Kevin Davis is okay. Stuart Holden's good. Carter Gardner. <laughs> Amanda. Fovey, is he any good? He's 19 from the from Dr. Congo. Well, yeah, now it's the Dominican Republic of Con Congo. I just like to call it that because it's funny. Um, well. I can't really complain, we're still unbeaten. And we go into that sort of final big section of games. It's the, it's the, it's the final game in the big section of games that is going to be against Juventus at Della Alpi. Please join me for that big game. And it could really not, certainly not um, confirm our place in the next round of the Champions League, but it would take a big stride if we won there. So uh, join me, please. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.